Today on The Hookup, I've got all the latest projector news from CES 2023. I've got footage from the show floor, from invite-only events, and private off-site suites to show you all the latest trends in upcoming projector releases from BenQ, Samsung, Hisense, 4Movie, XGMe, and more. Starting with the biggest news from both a technological and physical standpoint, both Hisense and Samsung showed off 8K resolution ultra short throw projectors, which will be the first of their kind to hit the market. The Hisense projector will be called the 120LX and is part of the Hisense Laser TV line, which means that it will have fixed focus and will be paired with a 120 inch ambient light rejecting screen. The press release mentions a brightness of 400 nits, but the Hisense employee that I spoke to mentioned 3,500 ANSI lumens from its triple laser light source, which when paired with Dolby Vision support, produces an incredible image with black levels like I have never seen from a UST. No word yet on official pricing, but release is scheduled for March or April in the Chinese market with no official US release date yet. The 120LX also has a slick new cover mechanism that automatically deploys to protect the lens when the projector is powered off. The 8K offering from Samsung is the next step in their Premiere line, which includes the more budget-friendly Premiere 120 and the higher-end Premiere 130. The Premiere 8K UST uses DLP technology with pixel shifting to achieve four times the resolution of the previous 4K Premiere options, and it can project a massive 150-inch screen. There were no official specs given for the Premiere 8K's brightness, but the Samsung employee that I spoke with said it was around 4,000 ANSI lumens, which based on the in-person demonstration that I saw wouldn't surprise me at all since the image was crisp and bright even on a 150-inch screen, and it didn't significantly degrade when that same employee flipped on the house lights. Like the Hisense, official pricing isn't available at this time, but the Samsung employee did say that this projector was going to be aimed at the extreme enthusiast and early adopter market, which probably translates to at least $10,000 and probably more like $15,000 plus MSRP. The next most expensive projector that I saw was from the camera company Leica, which has previously been associated with the budget projector brand JM Go. The new Leica Cine 1 is anything but budget friendly and comes in at $9,000 for the 120 inch screen version. The materials and design were definitely top notch and the picture quality did look excellent, but $9,000 for a 4K UST with around 2,500 ANSI lumens is a big ask. And their other big selling point of having a built-in TV tuner seems a little bit unnecessary in 2023. Also in the ultra short throw and laser TV category, Hisense has upgraded almost their entire line of projectors, including the single laser L5 and the triple laser L9, with pricing staying mostly the same, but major improvements being made in contrast ratios and black levels. Another big shift for Hisense is the inclusion of Fresnel ambient light rejecting screens in place of lenticular screens, and those Fresnel screens not only offer higher overall brightness, but also allow for USTs and laser protectors to be ceiling mounted without compromising the ambient light rejecting qualities of the screen. AWOL Vision was also at CES, but they didn't announce any new hardware. Instead, they were showing off a new software package that will be available for their flagship LTV3500, which will be designated the LTV3500 Pro, and it'll add support for 24P mode and the PJ-Link protocol for use with home automation platforms like Control 4. Owners of the original LTV3500 will be able to purchase the Pro upgrade directly from AWOL and install it over the air. AWOL also announced that all their models will receive a free over-the-air update with dynamic laser control, which will drastically improve contrast ratios and black levels in dark scenes. BenQ's goal for 2023 and beyond is to move away from bulb projectors entirely and embrace their four LED technology, which uses separate red, green, and blue LEDs, as well as an additional blue boost LED to not only produce great brightness and color accuracy, but also deliver 20,000 plus hours of lifespan. BenQ's newest flagship, the HT4550i, combines all the modern conveniences of a Netflix-compatible Android TV OS and LED light source with the more traditional features like manual zoom, manual focus, and lens shifting that provides around one foot of horizontal and one foot of vertical image adjustment without physically moving the projector. The HT4550i will have an MSRP of $2,700, which is actually really competitive for a projector with its specs, including 3,200 ANSI lumens, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage, and just 17.9 milliseconds of input lag at 4K60, making this an outstanding all-around projector for movies, sports, and video games. BenQ has also thrown their hat in the ring for the increasingly more popular lifestyle projector category. 
Set to compete with projectors like the XGME Horizon Pro, Nebula Laser 4K, and Dangbei Mars Pro, the BenQ GP500 will have an MSRP of $1,700, and it combines BenQ's standard features like their 4 LED light source technology and pixel-shifted 4K with newer features like auto four-point keystone, screen fit, and object avoidance, as well as 360-degree speakers, making the GP500 a great option for moving around from room to room or for less permanent home theater setups. And it wasn't just BenQ jumping on this new lifestyle projector trend. The Hisense C1 is a Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos certified lifestyle projector with 1600 ANSI lumens and a triple laser light source. It's got speakers by JBL and like all the newest projectors in this category, the C1 makes setup easy with automatic keystone and automatic screen fit. 4Movie also has a new lifestyle projector called the X5 with a single laser light source, 4K resolution, and premium sound by Denon, but none of those projectors matter at all if the stats on 4Movie's V10 lifestyle projector are even remotely accurate. 4Movie claims that this new 4K projector, which is roughly the size of an Amazon Echo Studio, can output 2500 ANSI lumens using an LED light source while supposedly supporting HDMI 2.1, a 240Hz refresh rate, and just 12 milliseconds of input lag. In addition to all of that, the 4Movie rep that I talked to said the estimated price on 4Movie's V10 would be under $1,000 when it's released in the US later this year. To anyone familiar with the projector market, the V10 specs seem impossible at any price, and absolutely absurd under $1,000. The good news is we'll get to know sooner rather than later because I was actually able to order the 4Movie V10 straight from China on AliExpress on January 6th for just $1,200. So be on the lookout for a video in the next couple weeks to see if the V10's performance can actually live up to its advertised stats. In the portable projector market, there wasn't too much news, but XGME did announce their MoGo 2 Pro, which is the successor to their popular budget portable projector. The MoGo 2 Pro is slightly larger than the previous generation, but it's the first projector to feature Xtreme's new Time of Flight Auto Keystone, which unlike all the other offerings from other companies, doesn't require any disruption of your watching experience, and it makes the image correction process look almost magic. There is a very good chance that I'll be covering all these new projectors except for the Leica and the two 8K projectors within the next year, so make sure to get subscribed if you aren't already, and check out my projector playlist for my best projector picks of 2022. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and stay tuned for more mini videos about specific CES product categories. And as always, thanks for watching The Hookup.